good bit rushers it's Kyler and today we're going to be going over the soft launch and beta of NBA Top Shots collectibles before we do that just a couple quick announcements please follow me on Twitter at bitrush9000 join my telegram group linked in the description for more access and comment on any of my videos throughout the month of September to be entered for a giveaway of a Moonlander 2 USB ASIC miner all right, guys, let's get into it. Also, real quick, just to let you know, this Friday we're having a giveaway, uh, that ASIC Miner giveaway, and I'm also giving away a 1,000 Tron for anyone in my super size group who has posted a screenshot of their dashboard in the Telegram group. So that is going to be scheduled for this Friday, October 2nd at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, first live stream, so kind of excited about that. While you guys are here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and why don't you just give this video a like too. All right, let's get into it. So NBA Top Shots. Um, so actually we got a drop here coming, it looks like this afternoon or right at noon. Um, so NBA Top Shots, what is it? So quick overview of what it is. It is a collectible, um, collectible game essentially that runs on the ethereum network using nfts non-fungible tokens okay so think of it just like a digital trading card that's essentially what it is there can be two of the same trading card but they can't ever be two of the same number so example they can release a card that would be say 10 so there's 10 of them and there would be one of 10 two of 10 three of 10 etc and even though they're the same card, they each have their own unique value and each one is different, right? So the value of one out of 10 is gonna be different than the value of a 10 out of 10, just based on the number. So just something to think about there in terms of if you're actually collecting, there's several things to make these collectibles worth. But I, I just wanna go through kind of more about what they are. So let's take a look at Let's take a look at some of them. Wow, and so we can see, look at the price on this one, $263. And just real quick, guys, I do wanna give a disclaimer. I am not a basketball fan. I do not like basketball. I don't even watch the NBA at all, so I don't know any of these guys' names. I barely know any of the teams. And you're probably thinking, why am I making this video? And the answer is, I would like to help spread widespread adoption of the NFT and collectible market. I think this is really great. And just because I don't like basketball doesn't mean I don't want to see this go. This is kind of like the um, the test. So if it works for NBA and basketball, they'll bring this to the other sports. And I do like football. I love baseball. Um, you know, I think this would also be good with like UFC fight style stuff. Um, so there's a lot of other opportunities I feel in this space. So I want to promote this even though I don't like NBA and basketball. Hopefully it takes off and it becomes popular. You guys think it's cool. I think it's cool even though I don't like basketball. And then they do the same thing for some other sports that I do like. So that's just kind of my own personal thinking. Um, just a little disclaimer if I can't read these guys' names or don't know, you know, whatever. All right, let's go. So let's click on this one. Uh, Tyler Harrow. So um, $263 sold by 10 collectors so we and if we click here we can see like i was talking about before so the number two so uh the two card is running at 5000 13 is 5000 you go up to like 21 it's only 900 and then you know 192 is 265 which actually seems really cheap compared to like 218 which is higher than that is you know, it wants 1500 and then you have the lowest ask here at 263 so something to keep in mind though guys is also that anyone can list the price for anything so if i get this card i could put it up for a million dollars right if i really wanted to there's nothing that's going to stop you from doing that so collectors who are getting in early are putting ridiculous prices just to see what people are going to pay okay so this market will most likely adjust and these cards probably won't sell for five thousand or maybe they will because these are the very first ones released and just having that value of being the very first um, collectibles on the market gives them that extra value um, but yeah it's kind of cool it, it replays the it replays the event so you go on there and you can see the highlight so it's not just like a one 
you know, second freeze frame like a normal collectible card would be. It's actually moving. You get to see the play. You see the rebound. You see close-ups. You see all different angles. Pretty cool. And you'll always be able to have this. If you buy this, this is going to be in your Ethereum wallet on the blockchain. Um, you'll have that moment forever. You'll have this collectible forever. Some of the other things to think about is these glowing corners. So I've seen um, different glowing corners mean different things. Um, I actually don't know a whole lot. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm kind of learning and just trying to explain the basics of it. But there are much more in-depth tutorials that tell you every little thing about it. Like, the, you know, the color of the corner is going. This color means this and that, whatever. All right. Um, we'll go down here, though. So it gives you a little bit of information on it. And it does say the edition size. So there's only 250 total. So, like, when we're going down here, we have 218. So this is only going to go to 250. So only probably about 30 more out there on the market. Um, and it gives you all the stats, you know, what happened, what the game... Um, you know all the different stats of the game at that moment in history it's basically freeze framing a moment in history right so you can go back and look at everything that happened where the game was who it was what they were doing and then watch that play so much more in depth than a just a basic card right if you're going to take a card and you take all the best things of that card and make them even better and on a digital space we can obviously have moving you know moving pictures videos we can have a whole lot more um, information here so that's really cool I just want to go through though let's go through the pack so how it works so you open up packs just like you would a pack of trading cards you're gonna buy these packs and they do cost real money and the cards do hold or the collectibles do hold real value right real USD value it's traded in Ethereum but I believe everything here is just labeled in USD and essentially what you know when you buy this you own it it's just like a normal card like it's yours you no one can take it from you or you know actually it's impossible for someone to steal it from you so like an actual trading card someone could like sneak over your house and steal it these no one can steal them the only way um, someone can get this from you is if you make a trade for them or you sell it to them right so you're in charge of that but basically of all these different packs the packs are valued at different amounts based on what's in the pack right just like a normal pack would be you have like hollow packs and you know regular packs and you have boxes and things like that so similar idea that you'll be able to get better type packs for more money you'll be able i believe they are doing like cases and boxes where it's like you know 10 packs or whatever um so we'll see more of that stuff as it comes out but essentially yeah you pick a pack right and it, it's going to give you some ideas of what might be in there and you can buy it just like anything and then we come down to sets so this is gonna be a collector's you know area this is where you know the real collectors are gonna come they want to have one card of each set and all this kind of stuff so we go the packs these are the commons right and we can see these are every single one of the cards in the packs and they're all blacked out right now because I do not have any but as you get them they would light up and become colorful and then you'd be able to click on them and you know see the event and all that right so pretty sweet guys um as i mentioned i am looking forward to this coming to other sports as you can see with the highlights like i said like ufc i could see this like dudes doing head kick knockouts and stuff like that like awesome moments um football you know touchdowns amazing catches you know, same, I mean, basically any sport, right? I just, I'm not personally a fan of basketball. I just never really have been, never really played. And uh, funny story is I'm actually from right outside the city where basketball was invented, uh, Springfield, Massachusetts. James Naismith, shout out the Hall of Fames out there. So I grew up going to the Basketball Hall of Fame all the time. It was near my house, but I was just never good at basketball. So you guys don't really care about that anyway. So let's keep going. So showcases. These are um, basically you can put together like your own collection. So they're not like the actual collections where it's like everyone in this set. But you can make your own thing like a couple different um, pieces from this guy. Or here you go, dunk on them. So it's most likely all moments that are dunks. Just different things. You can make them up yourself. And these are just popular ones. So the, the website here, NBA Top Shots, they're going to promote um, just the top most popular ones. So these are regular users as you can see. These aren't like admins or anything, or maybe they are, but they're also regular users. 
And then teams, you know, same thing. We can collect by team. So now you can go and, you know, if you want all the moments from your team or a certain game. So what's going to be really cool is, let's say we're in the playoffs. Um, your favorite player makes an amazing dunk and wins the game or, you know, uh, buzzer beater, whatever, something awesome. They're going to have those pretty quick and they're going to put them on and you'll be able to go on and try to buy that one moment of that team, like that playoff game or that you know, amazing win, something like that. And you can um, try to collect as much stuff from your team. So they're, they're really looking at this from as many angles as possible. And then marketplace, if we come to marketplace, this is just essentially the open market, right? The P2P, peer-to-peer, person-to-person market. Anyone can list anything for anyone, any price. And it's basically like an auction that you can put a bid in or you can just buy it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. You're gonna have a great resale value on a lot of these things. If you wanna get in early, I do imagine a lot of these earlier sets that they're releasing will be worth money to the collectors, right? From a collector standpoint, having the earliest editions and you know the first ones and things like that will be worth something. If all you care about is the ba your one basketball player, you're not gonna care, right? You're, uh, unless it's that one basketball player. So there's gonna be different types of collectors. There's gonna be guys that come in and want to collect certain moments from certain games. There's going to be ones that, that want only certain players or certain types of um, shots or dunks or whatever. They're going to be people that come in and want to try to get everything and build the sets and get one of everything. There's also like challenges and, and different badges you're going to be able to get. They're really, you know, making it real cool with gamification and competition. You'll be able to compete against your friends and show that you have more badges and more collections and things like that. So really a cool space here guys and let's go into challenges i'll just show you that so yeah metallic gold le challenge three collect nine moments and get this reward so if you collect um nine moments you're going to get this metallic gold you know thing and this is probably a one of a time um, challenge you'll probably never be able to get this um specific challenge piece again so if you do do this early and you get that you know probably a year or two from now when this is going and it's popular like things like this will be worth money that you know this was challenge three right so if you did already challenge one and two i'm sure you're balling and selling those out for you know a ton of cash but um this is in beta guys so there's still glitches and errors and things like that going on so i just want to let you know that that if you do come and you have some problems um, it's not 100% um, you know, ready to go. It is still in beta. So just keep that in mind as you're going. If you're having problems or you don't quite understand something or something's not working right, just know that they are in beta and um, things are being fixed. And once it is you know, the main version, all those kinks should be um, knocked out. But here's all the different types. Like, So the blue means something different than the red and the green and all that. And... Um, so common yeah okay if the coin so here we go we got it right here so common is looks like that rare has the glowing corners legendary has the glowing square and ultimate is coming soon they don't even know what that looks like so that's kind of cool guys just showing the different things um it does kind of go through so you know statistically significant there's all the statistics on there showcase your moments you're going to get the highlight you can do them on your phone buy your first pack so one thing i wasn't planning on doing is getting a pack i don't have much ethereum in my wallet and as i mentioned not a huge fan anyway so other than just like getting them to get some of the early ones and try to resell to make value on them i you know i'm not gonna buy any of these so i'm sorry guys i'm not gonna do any pack openings in this video if you guys want to see that leave a comment in the description let me know you want to see me open some packs and i'll put some ethereum in and do it just for you guys um, but yeah, I, I'm not going to open any today. I just wanted to go through the program and explain it to you, explain what it is, why it has value, the different ways of collecting, um, the different gamification modes, just in general, how awesome this is that collectibles are now digital, right? So I grew up collecting baseball cards. I'm a huge baseball fan. I wish they had started with the MLB actually, but, um, yeah, I grew up collecting baseball cards, and it's kind of just like a dying thing. I buy baseball cards for my kids a little bit, and, you know, they'll they'll go through them and find them and say, oh, this is a cool card, put it in their book, and then they never look at them again, right? And it's kind of just like a waste of money, even though it's cool, because it's not digital, that um, 
you know, it's a lot harder to like access and use and whatever. So nowadays everyone has a phone, everyone has a tablet, everyone has a uh, Chromebook and a, a laptop and a netbook and a desktop and everything. We got 10 different devices. Um, you can probably view these things on your watch. I don't know. I don't know that for sure. I'm just making it up. But the point is, guys, that, you know, with things being digital, it's a lot easier to have like collectibles and share them with your friends and show them off to your friends and be engaged and involved with it. So I really like it. I like the collectible marketplace. I like it going digital. I like everything about what they're doing, um, really. And if you guys are um, familiar with CryptoKitties, the same company that did this is the company Dapper Labs from that did uh, CryptoKitties as well. So really great company um, behind this. And then one also thing, uh, that I'd like to tell you is that the NBA themselves is actually involved. So I know there are several players from the NBA that are actually investors in this. So the, it's going to stay, um, you know, within the culture of basketball because they actually have investors from the basketball community. Real NBA players are invested in this. And so they're going to make sure it's cool. They're going to make sure it matches up with their fan base, what the fan base likes and wants to see. They're going to you know, make sure it doesn't sell out in the wrong way, essentially, that, they, you know, it doesn't just become like a, a money making thing because the NBA guys don't want to see that. Right. They want it to be, um, you know, something cool and something of value. They don't want it to just be some, you know, exchange marketplace type thing where people are just trying to make money like the stock exchange. They don't want to see that happen to it. And naturally that will happen a little bit like with any collectible market that happens, the guys get in with big money and try to buy out all the high end um you know, collectibles and then resell them for even more money and kind of create this like artificial uh, marketplace. So I, I, I mean, that kind of happens anywhere with anything like this, but I, I see that the NBA is going to make sure that that doesn't happen to an extent where this is more for the fans, that the fans can come in and buy the cards they want and there'll always be new moments updated and it'll be really hard for people to um, kind of like hoard these cards unless it is like a one of 10 or a one of 250 or one of a you know like the certain numbers I think that collectors and people will be able to do that and kind of raise the prices and um, you know get people on, on on some high fees just to get that card for the certain number but I think in general the way they're doing it is good that they're making new cards and the new moments and it's going to happen basically like game time so game just happened um you know i don't know how fast it's going to happen but let's just say like within a couple days so a game happens within a couple days there are now moments from that game out here on collectibles that you can get so it's in real time that you'll be able to get these collectibles and it's always updating it's evergreen um definitely a great system guys so i'm looking forward to it and seeing you know what else happens what evolves from this like i said i'd like to see it take off and become really big even though i'm not a huge fan of the nba i would like to see the project uh take off and be successful and then i'd like to see him move it over to the mlb to the nhl to the nfl um to the ufc i you know i see this in general just as something that's going to be awesome for sports collectors and uh, just digital collectors in general if you're into ethereum you may want to just pick up a couple of these and hold them like i said they're going to have value especially these beta ones um because they are the first ones however um you know you're not going to be able to just price gouge people they're um no one's going to pay that, right? I mean, you can try. You saw some of those other ones going for $5,000. If anybody pays $5,000 for one of those, you're probably pretty crazy. But, you know, there's people out there that are ballers that got millions of dollars. So if, if you know, you're a basketball player and, you know, you want your own card maybe, I don't know. But uh, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please smash the thumbs up. Click the bell to be notified on future content. Leave a comment in the description. Let me know what you did like, what you didn't like. Let me know if you want to see me open some packs in the future. As always, happy mining, happy collecting. Let's get that coin.